SK, welcome back to the Workshop Dojo. I just wanted to make a quick video about some uh, Purdy Mini Rollers. I wanted to make a video of these because I, 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 I couldn't find any videos online that really had a look at the difference between the, the four and a half inch, which is this one, and the six and a half inch, which is this one. Now, now just so you've got comparison, so the four and a half, six and a half, and nine, okay? So you can kind of see the difference. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, the four and a half inch is great. Okay, and it's really good for getting in small spaces. But to be honest with you, sometimes you need something a little bit bigger, but the, but the nine inch is actually too big because what happens is it just sucks up too much paint as well. I mean, half the paint you put in the tray ends up inside the roller and it stays inside the roller. So sometimes you don't, you don't want to use up that much paint with with this big nine inch guy you don't you don't that's just too big and so and so this this six and a half inch from purdy i think it can't i think I, I, I think it kind of it drops nicely kind of in between and i wanted to take the time for you just to have a look at the difference in size between those. And I couldn't quite get that. I couldn't see any videos that show me the size. Now, keep in mind, Purdy, Pur, the, these Purdy mini rollers, okay, they've got a big old, they've got a big old hole there, okay, and you need the Purdy, roller to be able to use these because it basically fits in so you can't use the 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 stat the stat hang on a second i'm going to get some so the the standard size mini roller has just got a little little kind well it's just one piece and basically the good old mini roller just simply can you see that there it simply just pops in <clears throat> okay, and that's it. Nice and simple. The Purdy rollers are not the same. You can see the difference. There's a, it's got a big old, kind of reminds me of like the old hair rollers that women used to roll their hair. I don't know if they still do that, but it just reminded me of that. And yeah, okay, that is quite smooth. Maybe that is smoother than just this. I mean, it's okay, really. I mean, really, you know, yes, of course that's smoother, but really, I mean, we're probably really, we're probably really talking details here. The only reason why I got this was to be able to house this, okay, this supersize roller. They do make, they do, I, ha I have seen larger rollers, okay, I have seen larger rollers, that just pop on to these little things. I have actually seen larger rollers. Um, they do make them. I don't know if anybody makes up to a six and a half inch. I'll have to, I'll have to check that. I've certainly seen six inch, so you can actually get them. But, you know, I just thought I would give Purdy a try. Let's stop messing about and open them up. Well, the packaging is definitely good. Right, okay, let's get a good old, a good old look at them. Okay, so six and a half and four and a half. And nine inch. Okay, no rude jokes, okay? This is family viewing. So four and a half, six and a half, and nine. So you can, you can see you can see the difference really between these. 
let's look into the detail. Okay, so so we got this kind of hair roller style thing, and we got a big hole here, and there's a it's sealed on this side, but it's kind of open on that side, and that just pops pops into there. Now I have to say, okay, that is really nice. It's a really nice size, you know. The, well, the, the, re the reason I bought this is because I needed to do a, a small ceiling in a bathroom and partial wall. And so I really did not want to use a nine inch. It's actually a really small, it's really small. So I just wanted just something small. That is the difference between them. Okay. And the Purdy four and a half inch, of course, is the same. It's got the same hole. Okay. So... So once you, once you roll down the purdy small roller route, you need to get the purdy hand roller. And, and you know, to be honest with you, they're really not too expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for this, but it really isn't that expensive. So that's it. I hope that was of some help. Um, rollers, ki kitchen fitting, ro woodwork, you know, at the end of the day, at some point, you're gonna to have to paint the wall, or you're gonna to have to paint what you're doing, or you're gonna to have to put varnish on it, or, th or something or other. So that's why I decided to put this on my channel, because basically it's all the same thing. Anyway, I'll see you on the next workshop dojo video.